Here we go. <clears throat> Hello everybody! I'm doing a little Minecraft tutorial here for survival. Uh, a lot of people ask me how I personally find diamonds, so I thought I'd show you a really quick, easy process. You don't have to worry about maps, coordinates, stuff like that. Uh, you start off with a mine like this. Look, here we go. And you dig down. And you dig down, and down, and that's the easiest way to do it. Make sure you got some torches. And you dig all the way down until you hit bedrock, which we're going to do first of all. And I'm going to try not to die. I didn't prepare this earlier because I just want to show you guys the easiest way to do it. As always, don't drink straight, uh, dig it straight down because you don't know when you're going to end up in lava and all this stuff. But you dig downy down, 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 down. I will just say, by the way, there's no incredibly fast way of finding diamonds. Once you get down, you're still going to have to uh, dig and search for them. But basically, you dig down here until you find... Uh, bedrock, which is quite far down, so you got to dig a little bit. Uh, if you've never gone this far down before, like I said, it's best just keep it safe, cautiously, ignore caves, stuff like that. Just dig in roughly a diagonal forwards, making yourself some steps, keep it nice and illuminated, and eventually you'll get to some undestroyable block that we call bedrock. And if... And that is, because I'm recording this live, that is a noise from one of my streamer LUDs. I may edit that out later. Uh, so you dig down, 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 down. I probably should have done this in advance, but hey, it's the process. Oh, found a cave. Mini cave. Uh, this should give you a sense of how far you need to go. Eventually you will run into things. If you find lava and stuff like that, just... Just quickly change direction, you know, block it up as quick as you can. There we go, and eventually you'll find bedrock, which looks like this. This is bedrock. And you want to get about as low in the bedrock as you can, basically. So, here we go, we're down here. This is the very bottom. Uh, and then what you want to do is go back up. So from bedrock, so this is basically... Layer 0, layer 1, things like that. Now, in the olden days, you used to get coordinates on maps. Uh, and the best layer to dig on was around about level 12. Between sort of 10 and 14 is basically your realm for, my, uh, for diamonds, with level 12 generally considered to be about the best. So, if you want to go for diamonds, what you want to do is get to your in the very lowest point of bedrock you can find, and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Ceiling block there. Five. Six. Let's just clear this top out a bit. Oh, here we go. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. And... Oh, look! Diamonds! <laughs> That's a fluke. It's not normally that easy. But look, here we go. Let's see what lair that is. Just to give you an idea. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's level nine, possibly level ten, because we discounted an a uh, layer. Uh, so basically, this is the area you want to be in. Uh, now, I personally think level twelve is a little bit better, but what I would do is I would dig about here. So that's one layer above. Now, that's how you find. That's how you get to the layer where diamonds are most frequent. So there we go. We got some diamonds. Also, make sure you've got a fortune pick because there were about four there, but we turned that into about 12. So always make sure you've got a fortune pick on you. So that's the layer where we found them. We'd go, say, maybe one layer above. Always dig around. We got a little bit of lava over there, so we're going to ignore that. Now, what I'm going to do next is this is going to be a little bit of a slow process because this is where it gets lengthy. I might not dig till I find the diamonds because I just showed you they were here. But then, if you need to find some, what you want to do is strip mine. And I'm going to show you the strip mining process. Because it's really, really simple. Just dig forwards. Two blocks high. Around about where you counted. Between, between 10 and 14 up from bedrock. Well, between 9 and 14 up from bedrock. Pick a point there. And just dig forwards in a straight line. Now, I might not find some diamonds straight away here because diamonds don't tend to be very close together and we just found some already. But you dig forwards in a straight line. Pretty much just keep going. Just keep going for a nice long while. Your goal is basically just to cover a lot of ground on this level. Just to get as much in a direction as you can. Uh, just keep going, keep going, keep going. This is the lengthy process. Uh, I'll probably edit some of this out of the video, but basically all I'm doing here is just digging forward in a beautiful straight line. Eventually you'll get stuff like this too, lava. 
And what you do is go till you find an obstacle like that, like lava that's a problem, and then turn to a side. Now I saw some lava over that way, so I'm going to turn to this side. Dig forward. One, two, three. We're finding red, so we're not worried about that because we're just here for diamonds. And then turn back the way you came, so you're two along. Now the reason you go two along, not one along, is you've already seen what's on this layer here. You don't need to see. Normally I'd go a bit further than this, but I just ran into that lava. So you go back, and then you go back the way you came. And this is the most efficient way, I think, to cover a very wide stretch of uh, space at the same time. Now, I was planning on doing this until I found some diamonds, but as you guys have already seen, I already found diamonds at this level, so this is pretty much the easiest way to find it. Um, and that's that stream alert again, because I'm doing this live. Uh, now, when you uh, have covered a lot of ground, you'll eventually get to the point where your diamonds are... where you found some diamonds and it feels like you've uh, cleared a lot of space. Um, or maybe you you might feel like you're on ever so slightly the wrong layer. Uh, basically, use this strip mining process to clear a lot of ground at once. Like, to go, okay, I'm covering down here, I'm going down that way. You know, uh, cover a wide space on that one layer. Let's just check we haven't passed the other layer yet. Nope. Uh, then what you can do after you've cleared a lot of space is you can then just take these central spaces out too. Uh, and maybe even also uh, drop your mine down a layer as well. You can, you can drop it down a layer and up a layer so you go far high uh, as well. But that's basically a way of clearing a lot of space, just the strip mining like that. And then when you get back to where you started, same thing. You go along two and down that way. That, in my opinion, is the easiest way to find diamonds. This is the layer you find them. Now, if you want to, you can just dig, just dig the whole space out, you know? You can get to about level 12 and just dig out far high, however many wide like this. Just make yourself a big open space and clear everything. And then you will definitely find everything there is to find around that space, you know? Uh, but you'll also grind through a lot of your pick. You'll damage your pick quite considerably, and you'll have, you'll, if you don't have mending, you'll use as many diamonds repairing it as you'll find. So stick with the strip mining to begin with, clear out a wide space, and yeah, down to bedrock, and then up at least 9, 14 max, and around there, and then just strip mine out. There you go! That's how I personally find diamonds. I hope that was useful to you. I can't believe we found diamonds so quickly, though. That was great. Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the stream, leave a like.